YouTube family? This is your boy Rocky Wolf Gaming, aka Wolf Rock, aka Ali the Rock, aka Ali's Kitchen. <laughs> I got so many YouTube channels right now. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of update and what I'm doing and what's going to be happening in the next couple of months. Um, we are back on doing reaction videos. Uh, I've had a lot of things that have gone up and down. Um, I've actually went to uh, some legal proceedings for. Uh, my current fight that I have. Um, I cannot say some of the wording on this channel because of some content limitations that I'm not supposed to say. So I'll keep it to myself, but you guys that know me and that follow me on Facebook and other places know what's going on. Um, so I want to talk about an artist, Angelina Jordan. Angelina Jordan is one of my other favorite singers. I love her to death. She's an amazing creative individual. I love her smokiness in her voice, her jazziness, just her personality. She's such a, a great human being. I'm, I'm very pleased to, to have known her in my lifetime. I say that, but at the same time, I'm heartbroken because um, a lot of I've gotten some responses that a lot of people didn't want me to do reaction videos for Angelina Jordan anymore, especially a certain group. Um, I, I'm not going to name that group because I don't do that kind of stuff. That's not how I work. Uh, but let's just say a certain uh, group um, has uh, reached out to me and told me not to do any more reaction videos because the managers of Angelina Jordan do not want reaction videos because it's hurting her, her viewing on her originals. Then as I thought about it, I've kind of put her on a back burner for a little while. And the more I thought about it, the more I'm, I'm a little bit upset about the fact that they even approached me with that at all. And so I was a little disappointed in the process. But I'm like, you know what? I don't care. Um, I respect the artist. I never do a reaction video of an artist that has just put out a new material. I kind of wait two, three days, let that artist get as many views as they can, um, and then I allow to do that video. But at the same time, in all my videos, I always put a, um, a link of the original video in my description so that anyone can just click on that and go to the video. So I'm just letting you guys know I am going to be doing a reaction video to one of Angelina Jordan's uh, vi uh, song because I'm I'm a I love the Beatles. I'm a big fan of the Beatles, so we will be doing this song right here. Let me put it up here for you guys. Uh, we will be doing the uh, Angelina song yesterday, aka the Beatles song. Now I love that song, but I think a lot of us that know the Beatles um, and that are fans don't realize what the song's about. And so I went back through my notes and pulled out some of my notes from the Beatles songs that I actually currently have. Um, as you guys don't know or know, I also keep a vert log of every musical piece that I've ever listened to and jot down notes that came to mind or important facts. Let's be honest, as I get older, I can't remember everything. I have to put it in notes. Um, but a lot of fans that are Beatles fans will probably understand what I'm talking about when I say this. Um, a lot of people thought that uh, when um, when uh, McCartney wrote this song, he was talking about a broken ex-relationship. But a lot of the pieces don't fit with the song choice that he put out during that time. And I'll tell you why. Um, so when, um, when McCartney's mother died, he was 14 years old when, when she passed away. And that was back in 1956, I believe, uh, when she passed away. So he was 14 years old. As a young kid, I can imagine the impact that it was to have your mother passed away at such a young kid, as a young age. So it had an impact in his own personal life. But when this song came out, um, it really, he was still in a relationship with, is it Asher? Asher? I think it's her name. Her name was Asher. And he was with her until about 1968. He also lived uh, with them. Uh, with a I think, one second. Try to remember her name. I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have done my research. I don't have that in my notes. Um, I think it's Jan Asher is her name. And Jan Asher, actually, he was in a relationship with her during that time. And in 1965, when uh, they wrote their album, Help, if you guys remember that one from the Beatles, um, 
he was living with Asher's family. And I think the effect of living with Asher's family and seeing the dynamics with, with the parent and father, I think got him to, to that point where this song was so important. But let me give you some notes that I have. Um, so in 2013, McCarthy told uh, Moyo that, uh, that he didn't know at, at the time, after years of singing the song, he started to think that yesterday was about his mother. Even he himself really realized that it was about his mother, not a broken relationship. Um, uh, thinking, realizing that it's, uh, it says that his mom, he told the magazine, because I think now why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say, I said something wrong. I think there's that's the thought process of where he was at. So I don't really believe that it was about a relationship, but I think it was more intended about the relationship with his uh, mother and not so much with like an ex-girlfriend or whatever the case may be. That's my two cents on that. Now, you can take it for whatever it was worth, but I really believe that the passing of his mother really affected him a lot. And... Uh, you, you never thought that uh, that song would have been a hit, but it's one of the greatest hits that are out there. And it hit a lot of charts. It was very, very popular. So I just want to let you guys know that that is, uh, that is something that when I saw the title of this song, I really wanted to visit it. And so this is the reason why I'm doing this reaction video, because A, I love Angelina Jordan, and I kind of got an idea of where she's going to go with this song. My question is, is she going to be singing this with the emotion or the intention of uh, a relationship portion because it's done from a male perspective versus done from a, uh, a woman's perspective? So I'm wondering where she's going to go with this particular song. I'm very excited. I apologize that I, I wanted to give you guys as much information as possible. Let me uh, plug in. I forgot to do that. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. Um, I will leave a link. <laughs> I will leave a, uh, a, a number of where to start the video without me rambling. I had to tell you guys about that because that, I'm very passionate about music. And a lot of that stuff, when I hear lyrics, I'm, I dig into lyrics a lot in my life. And I've dug into the Beatles a lot. There's a lot of great lyrics, a lot of great messages. Um, but this song can be taken the opposite direction where it deals with an ex-relationship. But it's still in a relationship, but I think it's more driven towards her, his mother at that point. At least that's what I think. Now, take it for what it's worth, but that's my two cents. Let's get into it. All right, let me get it on the screen. There she is. Let me make this bigger. All right, what's the deal with the pictures that I'm noticing? Like all the backgrounds are a certain color, like this is orange. And in some of the other videos I saw, there was different colors. Very interesting what they're doing here. I, there's a theme, but I'm not sure what the theme is. I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Let me shut up. Yesterday All my troubles seem so far away Now it looks as though they're here to stay Oh, I believe yesterday suddenly I'm not half the girl I used to be There's a shadow hanging over me oh. Okay, so the lyrics have changed this a little bit. That's Pretty cool. I like what she's what they're what they're doing with this. But she's done that in other covers, so this is awesome. I really like this. I, I love the slowness of the song. Very intimate. Very um, uh, kind of draws you in to the song. It's not a very fast pace. It's definitely a lot different. I'm gonna go back a little bit and uh, we'll. Shadow hanging over me. Oh yesterday. Suddenly, why I had to go, I don't know, you wouldn't say. Definitely different lyric. I said something wrong, 
now I long for yesterday. Oh, God, I love that. From her, I love that. Love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Why I had to go, I don't know. You wouldn't say. I said something wrong. Now I long for yesterday. Yeah, I love that voice. Yesterday. Love was such an easy game to play Now I need a place to hide away Oh, I believe in yesterday Okay, that was way too short. I'm just saying that's way too short. I would love to see more of that, but I know it's just a song. Um, kind of so out of it as far as light. So definitely changed the wording in the song just a little bit. The lyrics are a little bit different, and I get it. That, that makes it more personalized. It gives it more of an intimate feel for the song. And, you know, this wonderful angel, I... Always, I'm always in love with that smoothness in her voice, that clarity in her voice. It just gives me such passion uh, to with her as far as having that kind of passion with music. It gives me the same passion to be able to listen to more of quality music. She is one of those artists in my life that I've I've always uh, looked up to as far as musicians are concerned. Always looking to see what they're gonna do. Um, how they're bringing their music to us, the lyrics that they bring to us, the that whole thing I really focus on. Like hers, I have actually have a file that has all the different uh, lyrics that she's done in all her musical pieces, even the covers. And some of them she's changed um, out of, I think, more of the parents that have changed the lyrics to f kind of make it more morally correct. I guess that would be a good word. Um, so I do, I can appreciate that when it comes to some of the lyrics, but the tones and the inflections that she produces in her voice to give you that sense of emotion to the song that ties you in is such a beautiful gift that it's such a pleasure to see in an artist as young as Angelina Jordan. I'm very excited. I've said this before for Angelina Jordan and I'll say it again. Please, please, please continue doing what you're doing and if you have not checked her out, if you have not gone to her YouTube page, shame on you. Go go down to her page. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. Make sure you give her some likes and some love. Uh, make sure you follow her on her uh, page as well to support this young artist. It is our responsibilities as not only as a reactor, but also as a, a lover of music for you guys that appreciate artists like her to be able to support artists like her in any way you can. And one way you can do that is by going to her page, even go to uh, uh, any place that you can buy her music through Spotify, through um, Apple. I mean, there's other platforms that you can buy her music. Go do it. That's one way you can support her. I have uh, some of her music and I keep it and I, wa I listen to it whenever I, I want to. It's just good to have. But thank you so much, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I, I really appreciate uh, this artist. And uh, one second, let me take that off. Yep, there we go. And let me put this on here because I want to say thank you to everyone right there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel as well. Make sure you, uh, there's a little dog right here. You can click on that. And just make sure you give a thumbs up for the video. It helps the algorithm and it helps push the video out to uh, people that have not seen Angelina Jordan that maybe are subscribed to our channel that have never heard of Angelina Jordan and hopefully they will be uh, able to go to her page as well. Thank you so much, guys. I do appreciate it a lot. I will continue to do reactions to Angelina Jordan regardless of what people may say uh, as far as not doing it. 
I think she's getting the views that she needs and that's the important thing. And as always, the original video will be in the description below. Make sure you click on that as well. I appreciate it so much. You guys are the best. Love you guys. And we'll catch you guys next time. And as always, stay classic, stay safe, and protect your loved ones.